Hi everyone, my name is Karen Feibel. I'm the director of channels here at Schema App, and today we're going to cover off how to create an FAQ in the Schema App Editor. And before we get started, um, I just want to remind you that in the editor, what you're actually doing is creating something called data items. And a data item is a bundle of information consisting of a schema.org type, also known as a class, and its associated properties. And that creating a data item is a two-step process. And what you want to do first is label it. And labeling consists of three different parts. First of all, you're going to give it a name, something that is going to be easy for you to identify when you're looking through your list of data items and trying to figure out which one this one is. Then you're going to want to tell the schema app editor where to deploy the markup to. So you're going to give it either the URL or a URI. And lastly, you'll just verify that the schema.org type or class that you're about to create is the one that you're intending to create. So in our case, an FAQ page. After you label your data item, then you can get to the part where you're describing the data item by defining all the different schema.org properties. Now, it would be really simple if you could create your data item for your FAQ page by basically saying, the schema.org type is an FAQ page, and one of the properties is the question, here's, here's the question, and one of the properties is the answer, but that's not how it works. Um, why not? Now, there's probably a couple of reasons. The first is that you might have a bunch of questions and answers on your page, and really the search engines need to know which answers are associated with which questions, in which case, we want to nest the answers under the relevant uh, questions. And the second reason is because if you actually go into schema.org and you bring up the different pages for FAQ, you'll see that there's quite a few different ways that you can describe an FAQ page. The same with question and the same with answer. And so that's why I think it's a little bit more complex than we'd like it to be. So at a high level, it looks something like this, where you've got this FAQ page schema.org type with a bunch of different main entities, which are the questions, which has nested below that the associated answer. So now let's roll up our sleeves and actually do this in the schema app editor. Okay, so here we are in the schema app editor, and I'm gonna start by typing in FAQ page and pressing create. And the first thing I'm going to do is label this data item that I'm creating, and I'm going to call it Highlighter FAQ. Next, I want to say where what the URL is of this particular page. So this is where I want the schema app editor to deploy this markup, and I want to verify that it's an FAQ page. All that is great. Just a side note, um, this page that I'm using is actually about a product and I would be nesting the FAQ under the product markup. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm, I'm just gonna do it this way. Okay, now I press create. And it says that I've already done this in a demo, so I'm just gonna go over there and um, you know just type in something to make it unique. Okay, there we go. Now, as you'll see, there are uh, the main entity, which we promised you is, um, is that's gonna actually be the question. And that's the only required field here for F FAQ. And if I go over to this, um, to this page, I see that I'm gonna wanna mark up three questions. So I'm gonna make spaces for three main entities by pressing this plus sign over here. And let me bring up these two pages side by side. And it'll probably be simplest if I just type in or copy and paste these questions right away. Um, and then we'll dig into the details. So how long? And just a reminder, this is where I am in this process. I am defining the main entities of the FAQ page. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create my question and my associated answer. Now what I'll need to do there is I'll need to convert this to its own separate data item. And the first step is 
to label it. So um, I'm going to say that this type is actually going to be the question. So now I'm going to define what my question is. And you'll see that it actually changed my URI. It used the URL that I originally identified up here, but then it put a hashtag in to say question so that I could create a unique identifier for the data item. And I'm going to call this question number one because I know there's three of them. And my question is going to be, how long does it take to set up? And now I'll press create. And now I've got the opportunity to type in the answer, but no, wait, we have to create another data item. And I, I put one of the clues here is that it's telling me that it wants a data item for either answer or item list. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a data item. I'm going to say that it's for the answer. It's for the answer to question number one. So I've just changed the, um, the URI to put a one. And I actually am going to just steal uh, this question and I'm going to say it's the answer for this or whatever it is that you want to do that it's going to help you to remember it. And then when I create the data item for the answer, now it says I can enter in the text. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to grab the text for the data item and I'm going to go over here and enter it. And now I am done. And I can see that there's a data item associated with this because it's got this little link thing here. Why don't we do the second one? So I'm going to, you know, I've, got, I've already created my questions, the main entities. I'm going to create link to the data item. I'm going to choose that I'm marking up, uh, I'm creating a data item for specifically a question. Smart. It already figured out that I have a question one, so this is going to be a question two. And it already knows that I want to call this, how does it work? All right, so I have done step one of creating my question data item. I have labeled it. Now I get to put in my schema.org properties. But in this case, I want to link to another schema.org type to define the answer. So I'm going to add a data item. And then once again, I have to label it. So this is going to be answer. Smart tool, called it answer to. And I'm just going to let it know that it is the, this data item I'm going to call it is the answer to how does it work. And then I can press create. And then I'm going to grab the text for how does it work and copy it in over here. There, we've got our second one. And I guess at this point, we may as well do the third one because it really doesn't take that long once you've wrapped your head around it. So I'm going to convert this main entity to a data item and I have to label it. So I'm going to let it know that we're marking up a question here. Smart tool, change the URI. So made it a unique identifier by combining the URL, putting in a hashtag and changed it to question three. And now I press create. And here's where I would normally be able to do step two, which is enter in the properties associated with this question data item. But really it wants me to not just type in the answer, it wants me to tell it that this thing that I'm about to enter in is maybe an answer or an item list. Well, I want it to be an answer. So I'm going to create a data item for an answer. It's already changed the unique identifier. Awesome. I'm going to call it that I'm going to identify in the name when I'm labeling it that it is an answer just so that when I'm looking for this I know that it's not the question but the answer to this question I press create I grab the answer from over here and now I've created my three FAQs just a reminder that if you haven't already done so, set up your integration method, because even though we've created all these awesome FAQs, if there is no integration method, they'll live in schema app and it won't be connected to your website, so it won't get deployed. So thanks for listening to this video. I hope you found it helpful.